Hey guys, Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today, putting the do into do it yourself. On the table before me, I've got this uh, Craftsman M260 lawnmower. These are very popular. You can buy them, I think, new at Lowe's for like $379. And the problem we're trying to resolve today is a broken uh, cable. This is the safety brake cable, sometimes called the brake cable or the stop cable. And I'm gonna show you how to replace that. But more than just show you how to replace it, I want you to, I wanna show you how it works, what it actually does. So that you have a, a better understanding, not just how to replace it, but what it does and how it works. So let's get started. First thing to give us access to where the cable connects to the mower right over here, we gotta take off this top cover. That'll help us see things a little bit more clearly. And this is just two, two screws. In this case, these are uh, Torx bit T25s. So we can take those off and then move this cover right out of the way. Uh, kind of clips in under here. There we go. The string runs through there, don't worry, just move that off to the side and don't lose your screws. Hey, so as you well know, that safety cable connects to this bale here at the top at the handle where you push the mower and control things. And when you want to start the mower or use the mower, you got to squeeze it. And then you know when you're done mowing that you simply release this and the mower, the engine stops. So it's sort of a safety feature. You have to be there and you have to have it, you know, squoze and down against the handle like that for it, the, the engine to run. So what happens when you release it? Cables, cables connected, it comes down here and it connects right here. So we're gonna replace it with the new cable and I'm gonna explain to you what exactly happens when you squeeze and or release that cable. Okay, I moved the mower to the ground where hopefully you'll be able to get a better view of what I'm doing here. So up here by the engine, I'm going to zoom in on that bracket where the cape safety cable connects to the uh, mower. And we're going to release that end of the cable first. So what you want to do is get a pair of needle nose pliers, squeeze these two tabs together, and then it, the connector can pull out of the hole in the bracket. Next, you simply remove this end here from this lever that moves. This is a spring-loaded lever and the spring has come off, so I'm going to show you about that here next. Yeah, so this, this spring hooks onto this hole right here in the moving pivoting lever. see it. That hole right there. And then the other end hooks on this right here. It's a pretty tight spring, so let me grab it with pliers. All right, just like that. So with the spring in place, the default position for this lever, and I can't hardly move it now with my hands because it's so tight with that spring. It's in that, that's its default position and two things are happening. First is, we're making contact here that with a wire, it's connected to this metal clip. And when we make contact here, it grounds out the ignition coil and forces the engine to stop. And it does another thing. There is a brake connected to the end of this lever which pushes against the flywheel. You can't really see it now unless we were to take this cover off. And that serves as a brake to slow and stop the engine from spinning. So your cable's really doing two things. Killing the motor by, by grounding out the ignition coil and pressing a brake against the flywheel to stop the engine from spinning. So now let's connect the other end of the the new cable here while we're there. This here's our new cable. 
Troy built Cub Cadet MTD. It fits a lot of different mowers because they all have this and there's your part number. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. So the new cable is really installing. It's just the reverse of taking off the old one. This tab goes in the hole there first. And then we clip in this into the hole and the tabs hold it in place. That's all you have to do here at this point you could put your cover back on because you're done here at the engine. Now we're just going to run this cable up to the hand to the uh, to the bale at the top of the mower handle. We've got a cable strap here. I'm going to cut that off. So our old cable is this guy here. Now he, he connects to the mower with through this hole in the handle. And we gotta just free him up a little bit and pull that out. Nothing to it, just like that. While we're here, let's put the new guy in. Just like that. I will get a couple of cable ties and strap this down, but before we do that, we'll connect the, this end to the bale. This end is exactly the same as the other end with this little hook. It simply goes through there. And there, it's done and it's in place. Let's get a couple of cable, tie, cable ties and make this just a, look a little neater. Yeah, you got two cables, of course. One is the safety cable that we just replaced. The other is the control for the, the self-propel uh, mechanism. And these, these cable ties will just keep it looking neater and cleaner. Trim off the extra. And our new cables in place. I like that. All right. So before we before we say goodbye, I, I removed the top of the engine cover because I wanted to give you a better view of what happens when you squeeze this safety brake lever, safety bail, and show you more specifically what happens with this cable and what it's doing. So here we are. We've got the new cable installed. I squeeze the lever up here, and you can see it pull against the spring that pivoting arm All right and it's right here this metal piece on the edge of the pivoting arm when you squeeze the lever is separated from this metal tab so the engine is free to start and run but when I release the cable that metal tab goes back makes contact here and that continuity to ground, grounds out our ignition coil and stops the engine. Squeeze it again, it opens up, the magneto can fire as it should, the engine can run. Release the cable, it grounds it out by making contact right there. Now let's take a look at the top of the brake. We'll look down through here and you'll be able to see the brake that pushes against the flywheel to stop the engine from spinning. So I'm just holding this up here, and this is our brake right here. Watch that as I squeeze the cable. It comes away from the flywheel. So the flywheel, the engine can spin freely. And then when we release our cable, that brake comes back, pushes against the flywheel with the, the tension of that spring that I showed you earlier, and slows down the engine to stop it from spinning. Squeeze the cable, brake comes away, engine can spin freely release the lever comes the brake comes back against the flywheel slow the engine down that's how your safety brake cable works pretty cool huh well all that remains is to put this uh, cover back on and uh, test out our work Perfect.
perfect. All right, guys, that's it for today. That's the, uh, that's the theory behind the safety cable and how easy it is to replace it, but also hopefully gives you an understanding of how it works so that you can put the do in the do it yourself when you need a safety cable on your mower. This is not just for the Craftsman M260, but virtually every mower that's out there is set up the exact same way, no matter what brand, maker, model you have. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your uh, attention. Give me your comments and questions. Be happy to interact with you in the discussion below. If you need a safety cable for your Craftsman mower, take a look at the links below, and I'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.